and it was just gorgeous. <laughs> and we were just like, yes, celebrating. Okay, hi, uh, my name is Brett and I'm a host parent. Uh, my name is Heidi Lund. I live in Hastings, Minnesota, and we've been hosting since the beginning of September. Um, my name is Kizuki Maeda. I'm from Japan. Um, hi, I'm Annalena. I'm from Germany and I'm spending my uh, user exchange here in Hastings in Minnesota. Yes, I, I really enjoy uh, hosting. Um, I'm, a, I'm a single parent situation, so um, it's a lot of fun for me to uh, host uh, some kids each year to uh, enjoy the activities that they enjoy and to also share you know my America with them. We love to do road trips together and uh, see more of the United States as well as uh, Texas and, and driving around Texas. Uh, is wonderful. There's so many opportunities for them to see things uh, like rodeos and other things uh, that they don't get to in their home country. Um, I really enjoy uh, having or, or hosting the kids because they also contribute back to our community. I wanted to do our exchange here in America because um, I was suggested my by my mother. I like Texas because the sky is very beautiful. I, yeah, because I live in the nearby the Tokyo and my school is in Tokyo. And then Tokyo is it's often it is cloudy or rainy. I belong to the basketball team. And then now it's basketball season so I have a basketball game in the two or one game every week. It's very funny. We see her connection with our kids. We see our connection with her. Um, we've, you know, there's so much that we have in common where we're sharing stories and we're sharing experiences or inside jokes from her family that we now know. Um, or she always laughs because she tries to explain jokes in German and why they're funny. And then she'll get in the middle of it and she'll be like, this is not funny. <laughs> And so we've got this, this totally new insight, right, into her family, her culture, and obviously her into ours, and that just is priceless. I mean, it's not something you're going to experience any other way. Um, we talk, I mean, I know that it's like a classic reason, um, but I wanted to uh, improve my English, and we also talked a lot um, about America in my English class in Germany, and I always love to, like, yeah, the high school spirit and everything, and I just um, wanted to experience that. And I also love like the um, student-teacher connection. It's also just completely different um, than in Germany. They're just like more than fr more like friends than teachers, and yeah, I really like that. Uh, the most memorable thing that we've done so far this year was uh, we took a trip to Chicago. And uh, most years that I've hosted, we've been uh, doing road trips. Um, and uh, this year, you know, we really wanted to kind of hit some of these bucket list cities that uh, I've always wanted to visit but never have. And Chicago was uh, on that list. And we just had so much fun when we went up there. The boys uh, were really excited. I think um, one of the most memorable things um, was literally when she walked through the doors at the airport. Um, I, I can't imagine what that was like for her. I, I'm kind of emotional thinking about it because I'm sure that was so hard. But I think some of the other um, memorable moments for me personally, and this one's a little bit selfish, is um, I love shopping with my full family um, with, you know, and they love shopping, right? So. The whole family, we always go, um, we're in Minnesota, so Target is the place to be, um, and Costco, and you know, we have our weekly trips, and we go, we go and, and we, um, it's always a family event, and I enjoy it very much. But since Annalena's been here, there have been a couple times when we have gone shopping, just the two of us. <laughs> and we have had so much fun. 
<laughs> and I didn't think that that would be something that, you know, would stick out for me because I'm not really like a power shopper um, personally. Um, I don't I don't love it. I don't have to go all the time. Uh, but she and I did shop for her homecoming dress together. And we went to all these thrift stores and she was so excited because the most gorgeous dress that we found that looked stunning on her um, was from a thrift store and I knew that she wanted to have this experience of shopping at a thrift store. So we had gone to like three of them. And the third one we went to, she said, I just have this feeling this is gonna be the store. Um, and that is where she found her dress. And um, she was so proud because it was only $19 and it was just gorgeous. <laughs> and we were just like, yes, yeah, celebrating. It's hard to pick one memory, but I think like my favorite thing that we did so far was um, watching a movie because the movie was super fun because I was like sitting in America and then uh, watching this movie and there was like a character who um, spoke German and like English in a German accent and it was just uh, super fun and um, yeah my host brothers also um, they know some German words so it was super cute to see them like trying to trying to learn those um, words that they um, said in this movie. I'm thankful for my host parents and my friends, American friends, and my Japanese family because my American life is very funny, especially in my school because of the, my friend and my host dad. Also, my Japanese family always helped me to send my stuff or something like that. Um, I'm just super excited, like in general, that I have the chance to um, to live this life here. Um, I know that it's not like not everybody has the chance, and I'm, I'm super thankful that I have the chance, and also like that um, that my um, parents, like my natural parents, made it possible for me. Um, but also my um, host family, um, they just like it's just um, super nice to know, like to have kept like a second family. Um, and the other, at the other end of the world, um, and yeah, I just, I'm just thankful to um, have such a nice host family, and um, yeah.